So one of my favorite books is Harry the Dirty Dog. And I'm happy to share it with you. See, this is an old book and this is an old picture that I drew whenever I was a kid. So let's see. Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion. Pictures by Margaret Loy Graham. Oh, here's the copyright page. This tells us that this book was written in 1956. It was printed in the United States. And it has a Library of Congress catalog card number, as all books do. But let's get to the story. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry, too, so without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old, clever tricks. He flip-flopped, and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced, and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again. But everyone shook his head and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate. But suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He'd found the scrubbing brush. And carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging, with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, said the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick! 
It's Harry! It's Harry! It's Harry! They cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly. And he became, once again, a white dog with black spots. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. And that is the back of the book. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Bye.